Welcome back to Dano Does Things. If you've just started needle felting, you may have noticed the quality of wool roving you can get can vary. Here you can see the cheaper big box store wool on the left and the higher quality local yarn store wool on the right. The higher quality wool is much softer and pliable and works up faster and just has a much nicer finish than the cheaper, much more rough wool roving. When I just started needle felting, I bought as cheap of wool as I could since it can feel daunting investing in expensive materials before trying out a new craft. I soon came to realize that the more expensive wool is much nicer to work with, but I still have a fair amount of the lower quality wool that I wanted to use because I hate to see things go to waste. So if you're also facing this situation, or you're looking to get more bang for your buck while making your nice wool last longer, you can do what I've done here and use the cheaper wool as a base. When flat felting, it's nice to get full coverage on your felting base. In this instance, a rectangle of craft felt. If you lay down a layer of cheaper wool first, then you don't need to worry about using a ton of your nicer wool. Then, once you've laid down enough wool to cover your backing, use the better quality wool over top. For this Prairie Sky Needle Felt painting, I'm using solid blue for the entire top portion and laying down some green on the bottom inch or so. Using small amounts at a time, line out your clouds using white wool roving. I want a bit of blue to peek through the white, so I'm not laying down a base layer, just going straight to the nice, fluffy white wool. Once you have the outline, fill in the rest of the cloud following the outline. So far I've been using a multi-needle tool to speed up my felting, but for the next part you'll need to switch to one needle. I'm making a field of canola, a common sight here in the prairies, but you can use all kinds of colors to make a field of wildflowers if you like. To do this, take a tiny amount of wool and roll it in the palm of your hands. Place that on the green section and, using a single needle, repeatedly felt in one spot so the wool gathers there. Repeat and repeat and repeat until you have as much canola or as many flowers as you want. I always like to give my entire piece a final felting once I'm done, trim off the wispy bits, and then felt around the edges to lock them in. I like how these pieces look framed, but guess what? Glass and cameras don't mix. So here's a little clip of it without the glass. A nice gift or DIY home decor that's super easy and customizable. Happy felting and we'll see you next week.